Let's now go to Pia Bonalo. She's at a science laboratory in Quezon City. Good morning, Pia. Hi, good morning, Amelin. Summer may be halfway over for most of the students, but that doesn't mean you're run out of fun activities with the remaining summer days left. Here in Mad Science, you would get a jump start on your science courses by making it fun learning experience. With me is Android Anna to tell us all about it. Hi, good morning, Android Anna. Good morning, Miss Pia. Thank you for having us here. Yes, can you tell us about Mad Science? What is it exactly? Well, Mad Science is an edutainment company. Edutainment Entertainment meaning educational entertainment. So what we do is we go to schools or even to homes during birthday parties and then we do fun science so that uh, kids will be reminded that science isn't boring, science isn't hard, it's really fun. There are people who actually do this for birthday parties. Yes, because parents nowadays, they want a more educational alternative to the traditional birthday parties. So mad science um, comes in there to... You know, make their uh, educational party still fun, but highly interactive and dynamic. One of the experiments you do have something to do with acids and yes. bases. Can you tell me all about this? Well, it's actually a household um, chemical indicator, which is made from red cabbage, because red cabbage has a chemical that reacts with acids, turns them into pinkish hues, mm -hmm. and then with bases, turns them into... Uh, greenish bluish hues naman so um well basically that's what it does it turns the color of the household chemical or any chemical into uh pink or green depending on whether it's acid or base and it's actually a visual uh, a visual demonstration of the concepts of acids and acidity and basic and Basicity. So what does this actually teach the kids? What is it about acids and bases? Well, um, it enables kids to classify chemicals into acids and bases. And because it can turn different acids into different hues of pink or different bases into different hues of green, it actually shows the kids that different chemicals have different strengths. And if it's really strong, it's not supposed to be played with. So it's actually informative that way also. Another experiment is called the Spitfire. Can you tell me about this one? Well, the Spitfire is um, a very scientific way of producing fire without matches. So it's the mad science version of um, the camping fire without matches. So we used uh, uh, potassium permanganate and then glycerin. And the glycerin acted as a catalyst. So again, this is a good a visual demonstration of the concept of catalyst because catalyst what they do is they speed up a chemical a, chem, a chemical reaction and that's what you saw in the experiment that when you add glycerin that's when you were able to produce fire but they're handling fire it's not really advisable for kids so how do you go about that experiment with kids well here in mad science what we usually tell kids when an experiment involves fire we remind them that we're mad scientists. We're trained to handle fire experiments, and so they should not do that without a certified mad scientist or without a parent or an adult. This morning, we have kids with us, and we have an experiment laid out in front of us. What is this experiment? Well, this is called uh, the elephant's toothpaste. And again, this is a demonstration of how catalysts work. We'll see what will happen to the... Uh, hydrogen peroxide solution we've prepared when we've added this potassium iodide, okay? So, um, I think I won't explain anymore. I'll just show you what happens in elephant's toothpaste. So, kids, are you ready to show Miss Pia what elephant's toothpaste is all about? Yes. Yeah, I, I heard only one kid. Are you one. ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, on three. Ready? On three. Okay. One, okay. two... And three. Go so this back. is the Mad Science Elephant's Toothpaste. Oh, okay. Wow. So what we're actually seeing is an exothermic chemical reaction. Exothermic is any chemical reaction that produces heat. <laughs> okay. So there. this is what is formed. It looks like a big cotton candy that I want to eat. But of course, what are the safety precautions with something like this? Well, 
um, we tell kids, like what I'm going to do now, do not touch uh, these cute cotton candies because they're hot and because they're actually made of chemicals. Wow, sounds great. What do you think of the experiment that you just did? It was cool. Yeah, it's really cool. How about you? What do you think about it? It was awesome and fun. <laughs> cool. What's your name? Andre. Andre, you are? Ashley. Thank you, Andre and Ashley, and thank you, Android Anna, for sharing it with us this morning. There you have it. For all you kids out there who want to do something new for the remaining days of the summer, do try Mad Science. Jing, Amelin. Thanks, Pia.